I mean, for me, it's inspirational and it gives me hope in seeing investment from the city, from nonprofits, from community members transforming lots that are public health hazards and eyesores and dangerous and turning them into usable, safe, beautiful green spaces. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's making a difference. It's making an impact in people's lives. The city of Philadelphia is a post-industrial city, and so we have a lot of vacant lots in the city. And unfortunately, most of them, whether they're privately owned or city owned, don't have the capacity to maintain them. And so they grow heavy weeds, and you know, people dump their trash on there and their debris, and it's just, it's an eyesore. It's not something that people deserve to live by. So that's where we at PHS come in. So we have our Philadelphia Land Care Program, where we completely clean and green these vacant lots so that you know, what was formerly a terrible eyesore is now a community asset, which people can use and people can enjoy and they feel safer around. Through this project, we're trying to change the narrative behind vacant lots and switching it from a detriment and a negative to a community asset and realizing that we have all this open accessible land and that it could serve as easy and equitable access to nature and to green space and urban environments but it can also provide ecological habitat as well. We've noticed the soil quality has improved which helps with drainage and we in Philadelphia have a lot of, of stormwater management issues when it rains heavily. PHS, their land care program, they'll stabilize a lot and they'll bring in sod and they'll plant some trees, but we are taking this awesome program to the next level and we're installing pollinator gardens, um, which serve as habitat for birds, bees, and butterflies and all sorts of critters. These gardens are able to absorb more runoff and stormwater, preventing overflows and sewers, so we're really hoping that not only can we provide habitat, but we can provide water quality benefits as well. Some of our, our lots we collaborate with the mural arts program, which they paint these beautiful murals. And then the National Wildlife Federation, in collaboration with the, a local university, they found that it has a positive impact on the climate as well. So when we have the, the clean lawn, the mural, and then the added texture and, and beauty from the gardens, it really creates such a beautiful space for the community. We're also working with 12,000 lots, which is a lot. You can't manage that much through a volunteer basis. So we found it actually to be much more sustainable by hiring local contractors or working with community organizations to maintain the lot itself. And what's great is that we actively search to work with local landscape contractors to help build their capacity. And they hire community members from the neighborhoods that we're, that we're working in. And so really, you know, we're investing a lot of dollars to clean these lots, but that money is going right back into the neighborhoods, helping to create jobs. And then it, it helps kind of build ownership as well. When you get up in the morning, you know, just taking the kids to daycare, school, you want your community to look right. You don't want to come out, see trash everywhere, or just a mess. I'm only like 30 days, if that, in. But it's giving me a different perspective on like everything, as far as beautifying your neighborhood. Even though it's a job, when you go back home and you see like a lot when you're blocked, when you're not at work, you're going to probably want to do something to it. Like, why we can't just make every block and every street in the city look good. Landscaping gave me a, a different outlook about life. What landscaping really is not just like weed whacking, cleaning, it's a whole lot of other aspects that go into it to try to help brighten and raise awareness in different communities. I want a contractor to really give me like an opportunity that I never had. I'm here to just get the experience, you know, listen, observe, pay attention to details. You know, there's a lot of lots that need work. And if you can get a lot of positive people and people to work with you, clean the locks up. It's a mess in the beginning, but when you step back and look at it with you know all the help for the community, um, it looks way much more nice for the neighborhood. We would really love to see vacant lot restoration at scale throughout the Mid-Atlantic, and so we are really using this project and this opportunity to learn as much as we can about 
what has worked and what hasn't so that we can really bring this to other cities and make it a stronger priority.